Well, Simon, we spent three years together at school and he was uh, he's a typical Swede, if you will. Uh, he's very driven. Um, you know, he's very, he trains hard on the court, trains hard off the court. He took care of his academics very well, so I'm sure he passed uh, with great grades. Um, but he trained very hard uh, with the three years I was there with him. And you could always tell he wanted to be a, a pro tennis player beyond that. And whether it was going to be singles or doubles, we didn't know at that point in time. But obviously he's uh, done much better in doubles uh, winning a Grand Slam title. He always had the dedication and, uh, and what it took to be a pro player. Just had to get a little bit of luck on his side, and which um, he did that for himself. So, you know, he, he's done a great job the last 10 years he's been out on the circuit. Simon has had an amazing career. Um, I want to congratulate him. He's so deserving of this. Um, he was a four time All American here at Pepperdine, was a great player. Um, but his accomplishments on the Pro Tour are just incredible. And there, there's so many to mention from his Grand Slams, um, accomplishments to his Olympics. Uh, he's just been an incredible representative of our program on and off the court. And, and um, we just, we're just very proud of him. Just say congratulations. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Simon. What a great award for him. And I'm sure he's very proud. And I'm sorry not to be there, Simon. But I certainly enjoy watching you play on TV all the time. And, your Davis Cup triumphs and your great play on the Pro Tour, so it's a, a neat achievement and obviously you deserve it a lot. But he was always a great teammate to have. We played some doubles together, obviously played three years on, you know, close in, on the singles court at the same time, so he was a great team member and uh, I was uh, very happy with him and I'm sure, I hope he was happy with me too, but we had a great time together. I think characters won. Simon, even when he was a player here, was just an incredible sportsman. His work ethic from everything I've heard was amazing and I think that, with just being so disciplined when he went out on the tour with his practice, you know, from what I've heard, he was just an amazing worker and he just stuck with it, you know, it's on the pro tour, it's not easy, you have to travel the world, it's, it, you're by yourself so much, it's, it's tough life and, you know, what he's done over these, all these years, it's pretty remarkable. When I think of Simon, the word that really comes to my mind is he was a real professional at a young age. He was very mature, um, he, he very organized. So some people go off and do good things after college. You may be a little surprised with Simon. It's just what I would have expected. Um, we used to call him Drago, which was, I think, a character in the Rocky movies, a big Russian fighter and just a, an Olympian body. And, but, but he had an Olympian head, which is far more important to certainly myself and his coach, Alan Fox. Um, just couldn't have been a, a better competitor, tough guy, and um, just not surprised he's doing so well. If you look at all the other people that have been inducted, they've either had very or great college careers or they've gone on to the pro career in their own individual or team sport. And Simon, you know, along with that, he's been like almost 10 years removed from college. Uh, he was a great college player in singles and in doubles, and then he was an All-American for four years. And then on the pro circuit, he's won a US Open title. Uh, which is the elite of the elite. He's been a silver medalist at the Olympics, which is a great honor at the same time. He's played Davis Cup for his country many, many times and I'm sure has a winning record. Um, so you look back at his career over the last 15 years, college and pro circuit, and he definitely deserves to be in there because he's been one of the great Pepperdine tennis players that's ever come out of Pepperdine. And I know the other tennis players that have been inducted, they certainly have you know, high resumes as well and Simon fits right in there with them. It's easy to be a little bit immature and disorganized and not on top of it as an 18, 19 year old. But Simon was always on top of it. Simon always was uh, preparing himself what was next. Just good guy, good team guy, great doubles player. He was a great uh, team with Troy Budgen. So, um, yeah, boy, couldn't be more deserving. Uh, Simon, congratulations on being inducted into the Hall of Fame. You've obviously had a great uh, college career and, and a pro career and I'm happy that I was a part of it for a couple of years and I wish you all the best. You've done a great job and I also wish you the best uh, in the rest of your life beyond tennis.